Stencil Girl Products was nice enough to ask me to design some stencils for them and today I want to show how you can use them to work in your sketchbook. Today I'm going to use some of these Ranger Distress Spray Stain Sprays and, um, and uh, some of the different stencils that I, that I designed. So uh, these are, you, my idea for today is that you can you can make a textural, a textural surface, and then you will be able to write back into it with a, with a pen, you know, to write your thoughts. And, and this is just a way to kind of um, make a starting place for them. So, so this first stencil is a selection of four different textures that, um, inspired by impressionist paintings. And not only are they, they make nice impressionist painting textures, but they can also be used to make um, basic distressing of a page kind of textures. So the first thing I'm going to use is uh, Vintage Photo. And this we're just going to build up a texture on the page and then maybe add some add some add some insects. So that's Vintage Photo, and then I'm also going to use some of these that have a, this is Walnut Stain. I'm using this little kind of curly, whoops, that will never do. That's the one that doesn't work. You can use natural sponges, and I prefer that, but I couldn't find my natural sponges, so this is just a sponge from the, um, from the grocery store that I cut up. You can also, if you're doing something particular, you can cut these off and build little mats for them with duct tape. Um, or, uh, but in this case, I don't care if, since I'm making an overall texture, I don't care if a little bit gets over on the edge. It's, it's fine with me. And this is uh, antique linen. Here I'm just picking up some of the wet color from the spray. And pulling that over on the rest of the page. I think this is a very bright green, and we might not like it, but... But we're trying it. 